Hello everyone, welcome back to Building with Benito, episode 2. I actually call it episode 2.5. Um, well, it's obviously been a while since one of these came out, and that's because I did record one. I recorded one, it was a really good episode, I really liked it, I got a lot done. Sound was screwed up. And I tried ages to fix it, but it just it wasn't worth the effort in the end. So I'm going to cover what I did last episode. Uh, well, the missing episode, the lost episode, I shall call it. But yeah, uh, I went and gathered a load of supplies, as you can see. Get off my bed. We have absolutely loads of supplies now. You can see I've got carrots and stuff. Um, I basically went looking for birch trees. Obviously found some, and I went like a thousand blocks that way or something. Found a desert with a village and a temple, so quickly looted those. That's why I got a couple of emeralds as well. Uh, probably going to do some of those villages later, bring them back here or something. Uh, I've started making some specified storage. And uh, got a load of farming done. Over here, you can see I've made a breeding pit. I'm just breeding cows. Because uh, I needed the lever to get an enchanting table, which I'll show you in a second, which is just in there. Uh, gone to the nether, and as you can see, got quartz. So this means I'm rocking the snapshot. Because uh, most people are who are doing vanilla stuff, most people use the snapshot now on YouTube, I find. So I figured I'll use a snapshot as well. Uh, so you can see I'm in 13W07A. And that's because the recent ones have been getting. Um, Oops, screenshot. Uh, lighting bugs have been causing a lot of lag, so I'm leaving that alone for now. I'm just going to stick with um, this one until the more stable one comes out. So let's go to sleep. There we go. So now, what did I get done in the last episode? The last episode. If you come up here, you can see where I've actually started building. I did a really nice little place I like, uh, and uh, came out really well. Nope. No, it all broke. So this is it. I built my uh, mine. My mine. My first mining operation. Piston doors, pretty simple, I'll give you a quick look at them. So you can see it's all built up. Nice little storage area. Here's a ladder that goes down to sort of um level ten, twelve, whatever you want to call it. And these are the storage things, storage sections. So you can see I've got the hoppers on top of them. Chests here. Hoppers all the way around. Furnaces, just furnaces, nothing use special there. Uh, the reason they're hoppers here is because you see this little passage here that's going to be a train track and it will wind down go all the way around and uh, there'll be a sort of dis supply depot at the bottom to send a tra a, a minecart up with chest come all the way up and up and up and up and up and up and up around here then we'll come up here go through here and run over here where all the hoppers and stuff are and basically what that will do is it will drop off all the items into these chests so it will do a full circuit round come right around here and then go back down to the bottom so it just means I can drop off my items from the bottom to the top without needing to go up and down and everything like that um, <coughs> excuse me <coughs> sorry had a bit of a cough the last couple of weeks another reason I haven't been recording much but I might um, I thought of a storage system that could work. So if I grab a stack of uh, cobblestone, I think this will work. Yeah, if I just drag it like this and fill that up. So now only cobble will go into this chest if the hoppers drop it off because nothing else can go in. So the cart will come on, stop on the hopper, drop off any cobble, stop on that one again. It's a bit redundant having two, but I can't really think of another way to make it look good and keep the symmetry. So it will drop off all the cobble, move it on to the next one which could be dirt. Although I think I'm more likely to do two cobble ones on this side. But yeah, this this is one of my favourite features, just being able to hold right click and just drag and drop. So there we go, and then we could have this one as dirt or something. But yeah, um, that's going to take a while because I'm going to need a lot of powered rails. So I'm actually going to have to do a lot of mining to get gold before I do that. And then let's quickly have a look in here so I can show you what's going on back here. It's just a simple um, piston thing. I don't know what to do with these walls though, that's one of the things I am stuck on. So 
Uh, you can see down there that is just where all the wiring is for all these four pressure plates. It all connects together and runs down here. It's mirrored on the other side as well. Runs up here, around here, into this repeater, through this block, to the torch. The torch powers this one, this block which powers this block, and this block which powers this block. So basically we'll stand on the pressure plate and that torch will turn it off. See just for a second there. So we can hide that. I might actually put a one tick delay on these. Just to make it a bit easier to get in. <coughs> just do the same around this side. I think it's this one. One tick. So it's a very slight difference, but there's a difference there. <coughs> so that's my mining operation. It's just um once I get the gold rail set up, it will mean I can just stay down in the mine for like hours just strip mining or something without needing to worry about coming back too often. It was up here. <coughs> I've started on the first uh the first sky tower. This will be the first one. This will be all the way up to the sky city. I I need a name for it. So if you guys got any idea for a name, give me give me an idea for a name, basically. Let me know. <coughs> so I could do a bit of work on this today. Um I'm going to do a little bit of talking as well, because I figured this would be a more talky series about uh, stuff and stories and questions you may have, so if you have any questions feel free to go ahead and ask them. I've noticed I'm getting close to 1000 subs, I might actually be there by the time this goes out. Uh, I need to do something special for it. I was going to do tank on the Hypermind server, but there's some issues. I'm not going to go into the issues because I'm saving that for my next Hypermind video, but basically that's not going to happen. So I need to there we go. I need to come up with something else to do for that. Let's grab a load of these. So yeah, you can see I've gathered all this quartz, not actually using it yet though. Um let's go for the materials I want. Oh, yeah, there's a little enchantment room in there, but that's pretty standard, just books and an enchantment table. So I'm not really gonna go into that. But yeah, uh stories. I'm just going to start with, um, you know, most people who tell stories have like childhood or work and my ones from school. To give you an idea of how rubbish the school system was where I grew up. Uh, basically, let's start with a little bit of background history. Uh, it's middle school, uh, year six, which would made this about 11, 12-ish. So you got an idea of the age, you know. Quite young, and this was a few years back, so um, this was before everyone had iPhones and stuff. So we didn't, we weren't exactly spoiled, we didn't have much. And basically, what our school did was during the winter, we had our lunches, our school lunches, inside in the canteen, even if you had packed lunches and all that. But um, during the summer, you had to eat outside, which, you know, isn't exactly a bad thing. The problem is one of my friends suffers from quite bad hay fever and uh, one of them had hay fever, another one had hay fever as well. Not to such a degree. I didn't have it but I, obviously I want to eat with my friends so if they're sneezing to death we want to go inside. So um, yeah we basically weren't allowed to eat inside during the summer which is you know annoying for people with hay fever. So we did actually quite a mature thing for our age group, which was um one of my friends started a petition. Yeah, you know, a proper petition, all like getting people to sign it and all that. And uh we went around getting uh, other students to sign it. You know, this is you know, ten or eleven, that's quite a mature response, isn't it? Uh we got we even got a couple of teachers to sign it, that's how uh you know, how much we put into it. And eventually we, we took it to the head teacher, we were like, hey, we got this uh, petition, people have signed it, we just want to eat inside during the summer. And she was like, oh, okay, have a nice school detention. It's just like, what? We've gone and done something, you know, mature, that's the word, mature, and you're just punishing us. Uh, the, best, the good bit about this is, um, that obviously happened. My friend who done the petition got the after school detention. Never went to it because he told his dad what had happened. And his dad obviously he was on our side, like, it's a petition, you know. You can't punish someone for doing something like that. And just went in and told her, no, he's not coming to this. So, um, 
Yeah, school sucks. Uh, but also, school rules. Um, <laughs> I know you hear it a lot from adults, and obviously I'm an adult, unfortunately. I hate being an adult. Um, do enjoy your time at school and all that, even if, you know, there is rubbish moments like that, which do happen. Um, school is honestly going to be some of the best years of your life. You know, unless you're being bullied or something, I can understand that, I was bullied. So, yeah, I can understand things like that. But, for the most part, school is great. And you don't have to worry about bills, you don't have to worry about um, jobs, you don't have to worry about employment, you know, it's so much easier. I wish, I wish I could just go back to school. I really do. I know I could go to uni, which uh, would be, eh. Problem is, also, if you're of that age, it's quite important. People always say, oh, pick what you want to do, and, you know, usually just think, I want to be a fireman, or a games engineer, or scuba diver, and, um, yeah, that's all good, but, um, the problem with that is, there's either two ways it will happen, either you're not putting enough thought into it, which has happened, I've seen it, uh, and you'll end up doing something you really did, wouldn't like or you'll put too much thought and effort into it and you'll burn out which is what happened to me um, I was studying to be a computer games developer and I'd been doing it for five years I still had two years left to go and I was just like I was so tired so sick and tired of it uh, so I ended up leaving and all that and the problem now is I have nothing I want to do so, if you're in school, you know, my advice is enjoy it, and, you know, think about what you want to do. Don't just pick something because it's cool, pick something you'll actually enjoy. Because right now, I am stuck doing nothing. I mean, I work in a catering, Ugh. hate it. So, you know, think about what you want to do carefully. Um, enjoy school. I feel like I'm giving life lessons now, I'm just trying Minecraft. Uh, what else then that you could do? I had something in my mind, but yeah, just make sure you do your research on that. Don't just jump into something because it's cool, it sounds cool or looks cool or anything like that. Make sure it's something you'll actually want to do. Otherwise, you'll end up like me. <laughs> no one wants to end up like me. I don't know. Uh, honestly, the only career I really see right now that I actually would enjoy is this just making videos and I don't think that's gonna happen for me anytime soon I mean I'm putting in effort but I'm so busy and so tired with my other commitments it's just tricky tricky to have my cake and eat it as it were it's easy to do YouTube it's easy to work my job it's hard to do both uh, like when I before I had my job I was obviously unemployed and um, I was, you know, able to do videos every day. Now I'm struggling to get one done a week just because I'm so tired whenever I get home from work. How's that look? I think that will work. Um, I think we need another one here. But that one's going to be... What if I bring them out like this? Hmm. I'll have to do the same for this one then. So yeah, I'm just spitballing here really. I'm just looking for topics to talk about really while I do this build because it's not the most interesting build at the moment because I'm just still getting the basic shape. So that's 2-2, two, two, yeah. I'm still getting the basic shape of it done. When we get to the details, that's mainly when it's going to pick up. Uh, okay, let's jump up here, jump down here. I think this might look quite good when it's done. It's not going to be perfectly round, but I think that might be good because I usually do everything perfectly round, so it might be a good change of pace to have a slight oblong shape. Okay, that's good. Let's take these out. Still using basic tools, so I really do need to do some more strip mining. Um, obviously, hyper mine's still going on and all that. So let's go from here. So it's just a matter of making time for everything. It's quite tricky. Tricky, 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 tricky. 
we go. That's what I was looking for. I just noticed I already had one. Oh well. Okay, so that will do for a basic shape. So let's see, how's this come in? This comes in here. So I'm just thinking how this will be symmetrical. Okay, that's how it will be symmetrical. So I need to bring this out along like that. Let's take these out. And I'm basically just going to build this up quite high. I'm going to sculpt it a bit. Let's see, three. Yeah, the difference is it's just longer, which I think might actually make it quite interesting. Uh, let's make some stairs. What material? Let's make them out of light wood for now. Or was it, or was it shift? Hold on. Yeah, shift. Do that. So let's go a load of stairs. Um, now it's oblong, so I could make that work in my favour and go like this. Let's get dirt on here just for a filler block. Now work something out. I might do stairs on the underside as well. Just a matter of farming enough. Okay. So I might do this as a double spiral or something similar. So if we got more wood left, let's make a stack. So let's see. We get this. So I'm just making this all up as I go, which um sometimes I actually come up with my best ideas doing that, sometimes I don't, obviously. But I'm quite liking how this is coming along. Yeah, now we can have another stair up here. Yeah, this will work. This is the right uh, sort of number to do it at, and I can just build up from here. Uh, but yeah, I think I'll wrap up here for today. Got a fair bit of mining to get done, I think. Was that one? There it is. And uh, just generally build this up because it's just going to be uh, repeating each layer for a bit. So this is going to come up like this, and then I need to do something for the roof out front as well. I'll probably do the roof out front with you guys next time, which is this bit, because I want that to look quite good. And then this will be the whole tower. But alright, let's throw some lights in. And that will do for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. If you liked the video, please feel free to leave a like, it helps a lot. And yeah, if you like the stories, let me know. I'll try and think of some more to tell next time, if you like them. If not, I can talk more about what I'm doing because they are really two different styles of playthrough there's storytelling and there's what am I doing telling so whichever you prefer let me know and I will see you all next time toodles